Hey everyone, today we're diving into a topic that's as thrilling as it is cautionary. Artificial General Intelligence or AGI. Now I know what you're thinking. AGI promises incredible advancements from revolutionizing industries to solving problems we can't even imagine yet. But here's the catch. We need to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism. Think of it as smelling a delicious dish. You savor the aroma, but you don't just gulp it down without knowing what's in it. Imagine AGI as an exceptional tool. It can process data faster than any human, generate creative solutions, and even learn autonomously. But with great power comes great responsibility. If we're not careful, AGI could develop in ways that are unpredictable and potentially harmful. Take a step back and consider what if AGI starts making decisions that benefit itself rather than humanity? What if it gets so advanced it bypasses the ethical guidelines we set for it? These aren't just sci-fi scenarios, they're real concerns that experts are grappling with today. So how do we navigate this? First, we need to foster a culture of vigilance. Continuous monitoring and regulation are key. We can't just set AGI loose and hope for the best. There must be systems in place to ensure it aligns with our values and goals. Next, humility is crucial. We need to acknowledge what we don't know and be prepared to pivot as we learn more. AGI's development should be a collaborative effort involving ethicists, technologists, and policymakers. This multidisciplinary approach can help balance innovation with human-centered values. Lastly, commitment to responsibility is non-negotiable. The stakes are simply too high to risk carelessness. AGI has the potential to either enhance society in unimaginable ways or present challenges we've never faced before. Our journey with AGI should be marked by careful steps, critical questioning, and a steadfast commitment to the greater good. So let's embrace the promise of AGI, but let's do it wisely. Remember, smell it, don't drink it, at least not yet. Thanks for watching and stay curious.